Hello YouTube and welcome to this Surrey Snooker Academy League match between myself and Colm. This is the first of two videos with frames one and two. And this is also the last league game that I will be playing before the end of September. So yeah, uh, at the end of the next video I'll do a little league review and... Uh, show you where my current position is. Things might change <coughs> going forward because other people are obviously going to play. Uh, but this if, is the battle between third and fourth places. So at the beginning of this match, I am, was, is, are, all the rest of them in third place and Colm is currently fourth. Uh, Omka who's leading the league at the moment is not going to be caught not in a month of Sundays with blue moons mixed in it and Gareth is or rather has cemented his position as second. But enough about the top four places of the league. You'll see that Colm's got an eight point start, so that's with the handicaps. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm on nine and he's on 17, so that's why he gets an eight point start. So, this is, if I'm 100% honest, this is the only match that I've played this year, other than against Gareth, because I knew I was going to get a paste in against him where I've been kind of nervous whilst playing um, for, all, for all of the other games you know whether I've been on the receiving end of points or I've had to give lots to somebody else you know in, in all of those scenarios I've always felt rather comfortable um, not necessarily with me potentially winning <clears throat> that particular match but just on the overall feel of how I was playing and stuff but this one kind of matters just that little bit more to me um, just because obviously I want to try and finish as high up the league as is possible uh, and I'm not going to do that when I'm missing shots like that to the middle pocket so let's get into this game then uh, Colm's worked his way up into, thus far, a 22 point advantage. That was quite some distance away from the pot. So if he takes this one on, which he has, that's a good shot. Oh, he's used, the used that red nicely. Slow the cue ball down. Thin cut on the black, but should be okay. I say that and it just misses. Now, very, very tough red. See, I looked at that one and I thought that was, I wouldn't say easy, I wouldn't say straightforward, but I quite fancied that one because of uh, where I was going to put the cue ball and got the cue ball into exactly the right position, but failed to put the red and I've let calm in. I will put a ball at one point, I'm sure I will. By law of, <laughs> by law of averages. So that was nicely done. He's got to use the rest for the black, but at least he's on it. He did not miss that one by much. That's a very good cue ball though. And it would have been almost there had he potted the black. So yeah, definitely would have been a good cue ball. And I didn't fancy bothering to try and hold for the black because the pink white was always going to go up past the pink spot off of that, or you know, towards that height up the table. So I thought I'll play up for the blue, try and get top side, and then try and get into the pink and split all the reds open. Uh, didn't hit the pink, but I did catch a red, which has wiggled them a little bit. Yeah, could have done with hitting that one a bit harder. So, going to have to try and use the bunch to hold. 
So I'll try and screw into them and then hope that I'll be on something. Oh, <coughs> yeah, that was very, <laughs> very close. I didn't want to push it. And I didn't miss it by much, to be honest. And Colm's shot seems to have taken a bit of a flyer off the cushion. So he's kept the black in play, which is good. But now I've got a shot to left middle. And I thought I'd hit that about as gently as I possibly could. But huh, yeah, the cue ball's rolled up and thankfully that red has held, its, uh, held the cue ball's path up. So I've got a chance of this brown. Got a little bit of an angle that I can work with come down for a choice of the two reds into the right corner oh, another one that just <coughs> just doesn't go in and because it's missed by so little I've left Coleman again so he going to do with this one? Is he going to try and nudge into the right hand red of the three that we're looking at? Is he going to roll the black in, go go left top side of the single one? I started walking to go and get the black. So I missed one of these a shot a moment ago. Can I make amends and get this one instead? I can now just want to <clears throat> drop the black in use a bit of right or quite a lot of right hand side but hit it very very gently and then have a choice of those two reds to the middle pocket so there was a side accelerating the cue ball off the cushion that's why I basically hit that as gently as I possibly could and it still travelled what three feet Uh, ignoring the black let's go red pink red use utilizing the middle pockets well that is the plan at least so yeah quite happy with where I've put the cue ball there it does mean that I've got to play a little soft stunny shot but I should be able to miss the pink and then have a choice of pink or black uh, the red that's up the other end of the table doesn't go into the green pocket it does however go into the yellow pocket but I am straight <laughs> annoyingly on both pink and black there's no way of getting close to the red at all so I'm just going to opt to take the seven points and then have a crack at this red into the yellow pocket but knowing that the cue ball is always going to come down somewhere hopefully near the black and if I miss the red hopefully I'll miss it thin and send it across the bulk cushion So yes, yeah, so that's worked out kind of how I planned it, had it not gone in. Combs swerve shot has got him out of trouble, but it has stuck the red over the corner. But can I get past the yellow? Uh, no, is the, <coughs> is the answer to that one. I was playing that with a... I think I was playing that with a little bit of right hand side, trying to turn it over and 
I've hit it too hard so the side didn't work or not for me at that point. And that one I was supposed to miss the green and bring the white down the table a little bit. That comb's got a good, good length there. My main aim just to get the red up somewhere as close to the bolt cushion as possible. But now I'd left it on, and it was a bit of a teaser. But the only bit of the red that I can hit is the potting angle, and I'm going to play it with a little bit of left hand side. There you go. Because I wanted to bring the cue ball back down this end of the table, as this was where the uh, yellow and green are. Didn't fancy the black from that angle to get onto the yellow, but I do fancy the pink to run on and off that cushion and all the way back across. Could have done with, yeah, could have done with a little bit more pace <clears throat> to get the cue ball slightly close to that cushion. Ah, oh. yeah, awkward one. And that was not far away from putting me in a proper spot of bother. Okay, what have I done here? Has Colm got some sort of shot on? No, I don't think the yellow actually went to either of the corners. It does, however, go to the middle. And what an epic shot that is. <laughs> yes, as you can see by my reaction, that was not what I did it had intended. Yeah. To be fair, that, that effort wasn't too far away from the pocket, was it? And Colm's overcut the green, has he has he left it for me? I think the keyboard would come down far enough. But with the keyboard being so close to the side cushion and the green close to corner pocket couldn't really I don't think do too much with the cube other than make sure I didn't knock it in that wasn't far away either okay so 22 points ahead and 22 points left on the table so Colm can take this to a black ball respot and there's the first one in Now, is he going to take this one on or play safe? Yeah, that was a <coughs> that was a tough one. That was to get on the or to get the pot and get the pink in from there. So hopefully, I can either use the jaws to slow the blue down and send the white up the other end of the table. <coughs> if it doesn't go in. But I live closer to the pocket than the blue was to it. So that really wasn't very good at all. This one, however, was absolutely marvellous, apart from how unlucky he was at getting on the pink. That blue was struck really, really nicely. And unfortunately, Colm has played a push shot there. So... That was the <clears throat> that was the end of the first frame. We did I did get the pink back out and we had a few more shots but Colm went in off and so that really was the end of the frame. So you guys haven't missed anything at all. And let's get into frame number two. Oh I was happy with the red, the pot that is, and I was trying to cannon into the red that's just to the left of the black. 
it would appear that I didn't have the angle. So just a safety shot. Stick the white up the other end. Hmm. <laughs> I've inadvertently fluked the green. Which I didn't mean to do. So. Once you've finished laughing, you burk. Screw your head back on. And try and play a reasonable safety shot. Well, lucky nudge on the brown, but it would have been a reasonable safety in the first place. And he's hit the pink. So, a bonus six points for me. Now, we do play where we put the balls back if you don't get out of snookers, but there must have been half a dozen balls that moved there, so I could not be bothered to put them back. It would, wouldn't have been fair either, not for our, uh, not for our level of amateur play. Uh, that line looks very, very tidy. Good weight on the cue ball there from Cole. And the only thing that he's left me is to pop my way out of trouble. And that was quite some distance away from the pocket. I was going to say I it would appear that I got away with it, but I obviously didn't. Now, would you believe there's a gap through for the pink that he can get to? And, oh, nicely cued, decent pace, just fractionally the wrong angle. And these, these cloths don't have any nap to them so you can't use it to turn the balls into pockets unfortunately and that was a long long way off right what can Colm do here from the black can he just knock it in or can he manage to get himself out there Ah, that was tight along the cushion. Now my effort up to the green pocket, again wasn't too far away for the distance I was playing it. I was hoping to leave it difficult and that is what I've done. I'm uh, just going to tickle it in and play the black. Although looking back on it now, I don't know if actually potting that and then going up for the pink would have been a better option. I don't, I don't know because obviously I've got the cue ball close to the cushion. But drop the black in, and I should have a choice of a couple of reds. The cue ball just kept on travelling. If that had stopped a ball roll before it, then I'd been nicely on this red. Yeah, <clears throat> I've overcut that one. I was concentrating too much on the, the cannon on the red next to the black, which I didn't even manage to get that. So, decent pink off the cushion there from Cole. And the cue ball's coming down, but he's not on anything easy this end of the table. Now, would you believe it or not, I can't believe I'm going to admit this, on this particular safety shot, <laughs> that was supposed to be playing the uh, red down to the corner and either potting it or it wiggling in the jaws and staying <coughs> somewhere down the end of the table and also screwing the cue ball back to bulk. But, as you can see, I couldn't have been further away from what I wanted to play. Anyway, Combs drops a nice one into the middle bag. Uh, he's unfortunately not on a colour nicely for a pot so just the safety coming up 
not really much for me to have a go at. Just try and come off one of these reds thin and get the cue ball somewhere back close to where it is. But that's very, very thick and not particularly good. Thankfully, where I've hit that so badly, it hasn't actually left Colm with any pots. So, he's just playing the safety there. And I'm going to have a go at double to the middle. And if it misses, it means I'll be sticking a red up the other end of the table. So that he won't be able to play a safety shot up there. But I've missed the double by so much, I actually almost trebled it. And what's he having a look at? Has he picked out a plant? No. <laughs> That's a great shot. Very, very nicely picked out and played there. And again, he uh, he played that in such a way that I wasn't going to be on anything at all had it missed. So yes, that was a very, very nice shot, that red. Can he continue with this one and keep the break going? Okay, is this as straightforward as stunning it up? Go on, slow down, Kiwi, slow down. So he has got one to this right corner. Yeah, nicely played. Got the cue ball out of there. Are these two reds going to slow the cue ball down? They did a little. But the pink has missed, so... What can I do... to start a comeback? Yeah, I was actually playing up for one of the two available bolt colours. But didn't get it up high enough. So I thankfully was able to drop the pink in. Now red to black should be straightforward. And stun off the top cushion for the red to the right of the pink into the left corner. Uh, I've gone a little bit further than I wanted, but I am still on it with a relatively straightforward angle to get back to the black. However, however, I did not get the tracer left hand side on it that I needed to keep the cue ball away from the centre line of the table. So a tricky pink up to the left corner. Just try and drop it in. Oh. Which was rather unfortunate. The scores are tied, but not for much longer. Oh, I say not for much longer. So the scores are still tied. Can I get the cue ball back down the table and miss the brown? No. <laughs> in short. So this is a chance for Colm to score a few points. Now the red doesn't go, as you can clearly see, to the yellow pocket. Uh, it does go to the green pocket and the right middle, which is what he's having a look at now. Can he pop the brown and control the cue ball to leave it somewhere near the cushion and a relatively straightforward pot into the middle? He's played that brown very nicely. And the same with that red. Yeah, very nice bit of cue in there on those two shots. And cue ball control. Ah, oh, the green just, just eluding him. But I can play this and screw the cue ball back a little bit. Or rather down towards the green, I should say, because it was a bit of an angle. <coughs> Drop the green in. 
and then try and leave myself with a low brown. Stop, Cubal. Stop, stop, stop. No, I didn't want it that low. I wanted an angle on the brown where I could have put the brown in the right corner, come off the right-hand side cushion, and then gone up towards the blue to move it off of that cushion. But as it is, I haven't really got a great deal that I can do. So just having a quick look to see if it pops in the middle. But that seems like a very, very silly shot because I'd have to go all the way around the table a few times to get on the blue. So just double checking this thin cut angle. Now, can I pop the brown and then get enough side on it? to get up towards the blue. Now oh, the brown was was close but no cigar and I've gone I've missed the blue and gone round the back of the pink. And this has not been left particularly nicely. So I don't yeah, I didn't really mind if I'm honest missing that one just because of where the blue and the pink are. Having said that, I could be in trouble here had it not been for that double kiss. So, brown to middle. And can I get back up for a shot on the blue? <clears throat> First of all, I need to pop the brown. Oh, my dog has lost me in the woods, so she's barking at me. Right, gonna throw a bit of caution to the wind here. Try and put the brown in the corner, which I've managed to do, and the other side of that shot was supposed to be that the keyboard goes down the other end of the table. So I'm quite glad that the, that the brown went in. And I've tried to get the cue ball in behind the pink there. But I haven't managed it. I have left a shot to the right middle. And Tom couldn't take advantage and this is this is a delicate one to the corner. Now do I take the pot on? Or do I send it round the table? I try to send the cue ball round the table. And it didn't work. This one, however, from Cole. He's played this snooker very nicely. But is there enough room to get round the pink and hit the blue? Oh, there is. Oh, just don't... Oh no, the white's gone in. And I've put the blue in the jaws of the corner pocket with calm two points in front. So I got out of the snooker and I couldn't have foreseen the cue ball going in the right middle from there. I think that was a stroke of hard luck. So he's taken, taken the blue. This pink isn't a gimme, but it will win him the frame. And he does so. So, one all after the first two frames. Yes, yeah, a bit nail-bitey from, from both of us. No real breaks to speak of, but I think we've both been queuing relatively well. And the safety has been particularly good. Uh, so, do stay tuned for the next two frames to see if one of us can battle out a 3-1 victory. Or if it's going to end up to all. Um, thank you very much everybody for joining me and Cole for this first video. And we will see you very very soon with the next one. But for now, take care.